Okay, hello everybody. Um, obviously, some of you by now, or most of you will know by now, that the first table tech uh, issue or episode went up, and a few of you have been asking, how do you get the battle tech sort of models and stuff uh, for use in tabletop sim? Now, it isn't an official DLC, it's actually using the workshop, so uh, if you're on tabletop uh, simulator, uh, the way you find this stuff is you go to the community tab, and then go to workshop, and basically from there you just want to type in uh, basically Battletech, and a search of that will find a fair number of pages. Most of them are maps and stuff like that, but uh, what I've got here on these tabs are things that can really help out. So the first thing you're going to want is the Battletech record sheets, over 2,000 mechs there by Insaniac 99. Uh, this one is really useful for getting all of your different uh, mech information up. I believe it has vehicles as well, but I'll have a look at that in-game in a minute. Uh, the other one you want to look for is the Battletech Mech Pack, Mech Warrior High Definition Models. This is one that basically has all the MWO models that come in different uh, camo schemes as well. They can be in forest, uh, just plain grey, green, all that kind of thing. It says they're Alpine. This is all by uh, Tadukens. He's done a really good job with this. So you've got all of the Innisfear mechs, uh, including the Roughneck, if you want, uh, from MWO, and the Hero versions and their paint jobs, and all the clan mechs that are currently in the game, and in the bottom of this one you actually have links for other packs, as Mech Warrior High Definition Models, uh, Mech, Mech Pack 4, Mech Pack 5, uh, a few but bits and pieces, air vehicles, and even some boards. Uh, the, probably the most important one is Battletech Accessories. This one is the one that I used that you saw in the video that had all the dice, the counters, uh, the actual like rule section here, the quick reference sheet, and all the rest of it. I'll show you those in game in a minute. And I recommend uh, Citius, or uh, C-I-T-I-U-5. All of his boards look really, really good. Uh, different uh, map types that he's come up with here. Uh, lots of different variations. You've got all kinds of uh, different terrain types, uh, different setups, uh, rivers, meadow crossings, just nice flat maps if you need them. Uh, he's got a glacier map. I'm pretty sure he's got like a lunar map, frost map, snow maps, mountain maps, whatever you want. There's a good seven pages worth of different hex maps there, alongside many other creations by other people as well. Uh, just to scroll through, as I said, of looking for Battletech on the workshop on Steam. We'll find you a fair old number, and a few other little bits and pieces as well uh, that you might want to use uh, for your game. Now, how all this works, I will show you after this brief transition. Okay, we're back. Tabletop sim. Alright, so we want to load up Battletech game, okay? So, uh, just to show you, we're going to create a single player game. I'm going to ask you, you would click on Workshop, and the first thing you want to load up is, and just for ease's sake, just, you want to get the accessories, so we want Battletech accessories. So we wait for this to load up, and this is quite extensive, the amount of stuff you've got available to you here. So the accessories will give you uh, your reference sheets uh, for the rules, uh, you've got the vehicle ground uh, motive system, hit location table and criticals there. Uh, you can have all kinds of objective markers, there's the dice I was using in the video, there's clan versions as well if you want. Uh, there's 17 non-mech minis that we can pull out here that are like so there's house davian vehicles you know different tanks and the like so you've got a few few little vehicles in there uh there's different type of hexes so if you want to change uh, any of the boards you've got volcanic uh, gravel desert ice snow concrete heavy woods concrete light woods hexes wasteland moon bog grass whatever you want uh water hexes different trees miscellaneous terrain uh different levels here if you want a uh, bag of effects and different weather, if you want to get a bit more involved. Uh, even uh, little tools here to use to show your primary and your uh, secondary targets, that kind of thing. So you can mark what mech's firing at what. But we want to just get some of these over. So we've got states in the case. These are the movement die. Uh, there's even a, a nice auto roller here, so 2d6. And these should... There you go, click update, tells you what the results were. So move it again. Click update, tells you what the roll was. That's quite good. Quick mech hit location table, but the base things you really want to grab are obviously this here. So this is a little bit tricky though, because it's locked by default. So you have to you have to grab it. I'm going to put that there. And we're going to grab, say, field of fire. Those there. Uh, let's say we want the turn counter as well. And yeah, let's, let's grab... Let's grab these as well, just just for argument's sake. You wanna you wanna bring a whole bunch of stuff, right? 
and we'll grab the dice. Just so you can have a bit of flair. So, basically what we do is we grab all these, dump them there so it's not so much of a pain. And then do that. And then we would want to copy. Uh, this might not grab all the items, we might have to like individually like, control left click to add them to your list, but we'll see anyway. So what you want to do now, you want a board. So now we open up the games at the top, and let's just pick uh, this one, this map here. So all of that stuff that's here will now get unloaded, and now we have this new one. This one's obviously telling me about a few custom model meshes. Some of them might do that, but uh, this is just a def a, a, like an example. So you've got all the custom hexes on here if you need to. And then basically you would uh, paste uh, the items. Oh, just control V. And there we go. So we've brought all the items with us that we just copied over from the accessories. So now we've got those for our game. Uh, you can hinge this so you can have it tilted up and uh, it's easy for reference. You can move all these around however you need to as you have players. So the next thing we need is some mechs. So... Again, we'd go to games, and we go to workshops, and in this case, let's say we want the high definition models. Now, we don't want to click that, because that will close it. You click options, and then expand, and this will now show us all these things. So let's say I, let's say I want a Highlander, and you can do this for every single Mac. Uh, they're color-coded green for clan, blue for Innisphere, and so we've now spawned a bag of Highlanders, and we just left-click and drop. Uh, once it's loaded the asset, you've got yourself a nice shiny Highlander, which you can use. And uh, that's it. It's pretty simple. Uh, the nice thing is they're all coded to the hexes as well, as you see in the video, so it'll automatically, doesn't matter where you drop it. Well, I guess if you throw it like that, but yeah, if you hover it over, you can see a little ghost to show where it's going to sit. And uh, it's just the Q and E keys to rotate as necessary. And that's it. That's pretty much how to quick set up everything, adding any mechs you need. The final thing you'll need is the record sheets. Now, as I said, it's over 2,000 record sheets. The easiest way, again, is you click info and expand, and let's, okay, so we want that assault mech, don't we? Uh, so we will want introductory assault mechs if it's in here. And then we right click a bag, because these are so big you want to search, and then just up here we just type Highlander and here's, here's a 733p there we go and that's that we've uh, found our record sheets these are all nice and easy uh, to read you can expand the size of these if you need to uh, if it's a bit harder for you to read so you can scale them up so if you need to be as big as you want them to be really there we go so if we just wanted a really nice easy to read one that doesn't require uh, too much eye strain. Uh, we've got everything listed. Uh, the final thing you want to do is, once you've got a record sheet set, uh, the easiest way to mark them uh, is to right click once you've got them on a nice place, lock them to the board, and then you want to use, if you want an example here, we go with the draw tool, let's change the colour, which is this white dot here, and let's just say uh, we want it to be blue. I want to use blue to mark my damage. And that's it, pretty much. And then you can just left click and it leaves the nice colored dots for you to mark off. Uh, it's like marking off ammunition and all the rest of it. And that's pretty much it. As I said, you just want to pick and choose the different accessories that you want to use. And yeah, that's it. Pretty much away you go. I uh, hope that helps. Any other questions, just let me know. And uh, I'll, I'll try and answer in the comments for you. But uh, thanks, everybody. See you next time. Bye-bye.